Jason Drapeau, everybody. How about it? Where'd he go? Go monkey. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jason Drapeau, everybody. How about it? One more time. Since the dawn of time, life has existed to a very strict code. Kill or be killed, survival of the fittest. Man came along with money and greed, and we changed things. Now, not only do we discourage killing each other, but it is now, it's, we need to preserve life at all costs, which means that all genes are passed on, no matter how shitty and awful they are. I cut hair on the west side of Manchester, and I had a gentleman come into my shop, a very morbidly obese man. I pump him up in the chair, and he broke it. <laughs> and he didn't say anything, I didn't say anything. And in that moment, I stared into his cold, fleshy, disgusting eyes, and I said to myself, there's no way I'm going to coexist with these motherfucking mongoloids anymore. <laughs> I go to the bank. There's a long line of people there. It's very busy. The poor girls in front are having a very hard time keeping up. There's a pasty white gentleman in front of me. Looks like he's got diarrhea because he just had McDonald's or some shit. <laughs> he's standing there doing this whole thing. <sighs> and then he turns to us to make a comment like we're going to rally up against these people up front and go take over this place. Oh, unbelievable. Oh yeah, man, that's, that's really the pitch. Fuck you, you piece of shit! Don't drag me into your pissed off little shitty world! I have nothing to do with you! I can stand here all day, I have nowhere to be, and I can support my own goddamn body weight! <laughs> Stone Cold Stunner! Break his fucking neck, he's out of here, you fucking loser! I catch a woman at the CMC hospital. You go in, there's three floors. Ground floor is the second floor. So this means you can only go up one floor or down one floor. There's an elevator and a clearly marked set of stairs on the side. I come up the stairs like a normal human being and another fucking fat, goddamn, disgusting piece of shit. Oh, oh. She turns to me again. Oh. She saw me coming up the stairs. She thinks I'm gonna sympathize with her. Oh, oh. I'll help you out. Grab her by her big fucking fat head. Smash! anymore. <laughs> I go to Hannaford's. <laughs> I'm a fucking hero in Hannaford's. Ten minutes I'm in and out. Meat, produce, vegetables, whatever. I get the fuck out of there. Not today. <laughs> today there's a goddamn lummox in front of me everywhere I try to go. In a fucking electric cart. Bacon. Ho-hos, ding-dongs, whatever has fucking high fructose corn syrup, it's going in her basket. And you see her going to the bumps, you see her fucking head shaking like this, her mammoth arms, and they always, they always fucking look, they have this shit-eating look on their face, this indignant look on them, like, and they sit up straight, like I'm supposed to be impressed by that, that's the one thing they can do, you can't walk, but you can sit up straight in your fucking cart. <laughs> I have every right to be in this chair. So I think to myself, maybe I'm being too hard on this woman. Maybe she, maybe she, you know, got paralyzed and she's like this because she's paralyzed, you know, you know, I don't know. So at the end, she gets up from her fucking filthy heart run, stands up and walks back to her fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'm gonna pass out here. I'm gonna have a TV show, and we're gonna get rid of two classes of fucking useless people. Welfare recipients who don't work and don't try, and then we're gonna eliminate morbidly obese people taking up your disability dollars, your Medicare. We're gonna put notices on their house that says you have not contributed to society in a very long time. You have six months to ship up or shape out. And we're gonna come back and there's gonna be starving welfare recipients. Instead of giving them their groceries, they're gonna fucking stand in the back with their white trash families all huddled up, chained together. And we're gonna bring them out and we're just gonna put their fucking foot on the head and say, for the crime of being an unproductive member of society, you are hereby sentenced to death on national TV. Pow! <laughs> fucking give the welfare recipients a chainsaw, start up a bonfire, eat up, motherfuckers! <laughs> it's, it's been lovely meeting you. <laughs>